What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, uh, we are all aware of the current outbreak and how it can have, uh, and is having, and may continue to have an even greater impact on the competitive balance of the NBA. You know, it was only a couple of weeks ago we were all speculating that the Golden State Warriors might break their own record for wins in the season. Right, they're on pace to win 74, 75 games. That's not going to happen now. Um, that's definitely not going to happen. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to become of the opinion that we may only have a handful of teams that even win 60 games. Might be the Warriors. It might be, um, you know, the Phoenix Suns. I think most teams are going to finish between 50 and 58 wins. The good ones, good teams. But, you know, one of the things that's going on, it's not as noticeable because it's not the playoffs like last year, um, and everyone's not focused on it yet, but we're still having an injury problem in the NBA. We're still having a problem with notable players being out for extended periods of time in the NBA. Um, look, the funny thing about it is, when I was gearing to make this video, I was looking for, I said, man, why can't I find a thumbnail with Clay playing against Kawhi with a Clippers jersey? And I thought about it, I said, wait a minute. That's right. Clay hasn't played in an NBA with Kawhi Leonard being a, a Clipper. The last time he played was the 2019 NBA Finals when Kawhi was still a member of the Toronto Raptors. That's how long it's been since Clay Thompson has played. And as we all know, both of these individuals are, are are still yet to make their season debut. You hope Clay comes back um, in early January. We have yet to see. Um, Kawhi, he may not play this year. At best, he may come back maybe sometime around, what, late March, maybe into April. For a playoff push, we'll have to wait and see. But these are the players that are out right now. Luka Doncic, he's expected to miss multiple games, dealing with a lingering ankle issue that I suspect has something to do with his fat ass. Anthony Davis is now out for a month, you know, a.k.a. Mr. Glass, a.k.a. Hawkeye Pierce's most challenging uh, patient. Zion Williamson. We haven't seen him play yet. We haven't seen Zion Williamson play yet. We understand what's going on with him. He prefers, uh, as Ticket would often say, titties over titles. You know, he prefers eating, you know, stuffed crust meat lovers and washed down with Kool-Aid or gumbo, uh, jambalaya, you know, uh, fried Oreos, whatever the fuck they be eating down there. I've heard that they uh, be eating, like, fried uh, Oreos down there. What the fuck? You might as well just inject the cholesterol into your bloodstream. Chris Middleton, who already had been out due to health and safety protocols, has a hyperextended uh, knee, and we don't know when he's going to come back. And including with Chris Middleton, you have Brooke Lopez, who... Hasn't played but one game this entire year. You know, me and the brother 78, we've been watching him. We're noticing that he'd been having some issues with his back last year. The first uh, game of this year, he looked like Andre back in 1991 when he was hunched over and shit. You know, uh, so we, we definitely knew something was going on with his back. So he's still out. Bam out of Bayou. He's been out. Uh, he's out four to six weeks after undergoing surgery. Jeremy Grant, he's out indefinitely. CJ McCullum, if we all remember, uh, I reported and other other you know other people at LWC we reported that he's out indefinitely with a uh, new thorax, had a, a collapsed lung. Devin Booker, he just came back. You know what I'm saying? He had been out like seven or eight games with a hamstring injury. 
Michael Porter Jr. is going to be out likely for the season after undergoing back surgery. Bogdan Bajanovic, he's been out with the right ankle sprain. He's expected to come back soon. Ja Morant has been out for a couple of weeks now, since November 26th, since uh, suffering that sprained knee against the Atlanta Hawks. Jamal Murray has been out, you know, indefinitely. I don't know when he's going to come back with a torn ACL. Kyrie Irving, who hasn't been playing at all this year, now, you know, he he had, like I said, the shortest comeback of all time, you know, uh, he was expected to come back. He's going to come back, but now he's going to be out for at least two more weeks due to testing positive and being in the health and safety protocols. But he has yet to make his se- season debut. Joe Harris was playing, but he's out four to eight weeks after undergoing surgery on his left ankle. Ben Simmons, we all know what's going on with that bullshit. This motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Colin Sexton's been out. Wiseman. Patrick Williams. P.J. Dozier. These are like, you know, players that aren't as noticeable or notable. T.J. Warren. Markel Fultz, the bust. Jonathan Isaac. Uh, Victor Oladipo, he's still out. He's a semi-star. And then last but not least, Markeith Morris. That same play when uh, uh, Jokic pushed him, he got injured in that fucking play, and he hasn't played yet for uh, the Miami Heat. So, yeah, the NBA has an injury problem that's, that, that, that people don't notice, in addition to what's going on now. And this is leading to a diminished product. Like like I said before, man, we don't want to see a bunch of G Leaguers playing. I don't. I don't want to see on Christmas Day or on national broadcast games. We want to see stars. We don't want to see um fucking uh, p- uh goddamn Pootie Tang out there going against uh fucking uh you know, fucking Carl Jenkins, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I don't want to see these fucking nobodies that they try to pump up and shit. You know, I just wanted my opportunity, man, and, you know, just to play against, you know, an actual NBA player, you know, uh, after being in the G League for so long, I'm just going to try to do my best and make America proud. Fuck you, man. I don't want to see you. Come out and shoot fucking one for eight. Showing why you don't belong in the fucking league. I want to see the stars. But anyway. Yeah, the NBA has a problem with injuries too still, man. And um, as the season progresses, it's probably going to get worse. Some of these people are going to come back eventually, but uh, it's a lot of long-term injuries too, man. And you have to wonder, they always talk about how these players today are so much, you know, they have such advancements. And I'm not saying we didn't have injuries in the 90s, 80s. Yes, we did. 85 was ravaged with injuries. However, um, I don't remember in the 90s, seeing this many injuries all at once, especially in notable players. Nah. Mm. But tell me what you guys think, man.